Hello, hello, this is Carrie Dills here, and I wanted to run you through a quick tutorial of how to create a BuddyPress group. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be using uh, the officehours.fm community site to demo this. Um, so what a group is, is basically any anyone who is a member of the site, it's a sub-segment of that. And groups can be completely private, meaning that, um, uh, you can only invite certain members and no one outside of, of those members. Say there's three other people that you invite to be a group. Uh, those can be private. No one else can, can see what happens in there. Uh, you can also have public groups, which means anybody can join and, uh, and anybody can read the activity. So maybe if they're interested in joining, they can even check out some of the posts and stuff before they actually join the group. Uh, so as a demo, let me show you a public group that already exists on the site. Uh, I will note that I'm already logged in here. So nothing extra to do there. Uh, so I've got one group created on this site so far, and it is a book club site. So like I mentioned, it's, <clears throat> excuse me, it's, uh, public, meaning anyone that wants to come in here, look at the book club group and join it is welcome to do so. Uh, but what I would like to show you how to do is, uh, create a, uh, public or private group. So from, um, from the primary groups page and keep in mind, if you're doing this on, on your site, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not this site that we're looking at here. Although you're more than welcome to join this site. Uh, it, things may look a little bit different. Clearly your theme will be different. Also, the ability to create a group is a specific user permission granted by your BuddyPress, uh, what they call a key master. Um, excuse me. So keeping that in mind, if you don't see the ability to create a group, it may just not be that you have the right permissions. Uh, and if you want to create a group and, and don't see that, then just contact your site administrator or if it's on this site, uh, contact me, even though I believe everybody already has permissions. So I'm going to say create a group. And we'll wait on my slow internet. Uh, goodness, we're waiting on some graphics to load. That's kind of ugly. Uh, but we'll let that be for now. I'm going to call this the coffee club. And my thought is it's uh, maybe every morning, anyone who's online and wants to just hop on uh, group group chat can do that. So we'll say, I'll type that in real fast. Okay, so then I'm gonna, so that's, this is step one. Uh, I'm gonna say create group and continue. By the way, everything that you're setting up now, you can always go back and change the settings for later. So you're not set in stone. Uh, okay, so here we see uh, kind of what I described earlier. So the, the public group, uh, the private group, uh, and then finally there's the hidden group. And this is, I guess this would be your, your top secret group and only people who are invited to join can get into it versus like the private group. Anyone can see the group, um, and request membership. They just may or may not be granted access. Uh, so I'm going to leave mine public. It's uh, welcome to anyone, which members of this group are allowed to invite others. Um, I'm going to leave that again, open to all group members. If you were using this for a mastermind group, uh, you might want to select like group admins only just so, uh, that it was uh, kind of controlled or a single point of access or single point of, um, approval for letting new folks in. I'm going to go ahead and do the next step. Okay, so this third step we're on here uh, basically says, do you want to want to create a form for this? Um, and I'm, I'm a fan of forums. I mean, I just want to put a forum on everything. Um, so forums, in case you're not familiar with forums, let me open up 
a form in a separate window here. It's just a, a way to have uh, topics and then threaded discussions underneath uh, each of those topics. So let's create, yes, we want a forum. And this will uh, take us to step number four. So this is the avatar, and an avatar is just a fancy word for like your profile picture. And this is the profile picture that you want for the group. Um, and since I'm calling this coffee club, ooh, I should have called it coffee talks for a old Saturday Night Live reference. Coffee talks with Barbara Richmond. Uh, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Uh, or actually that I didn't say that, excuse me. And if you could please pretend you didn't hear that. Um, I'm just gonna head over to pexels.com, which is a free website uh, for stock photography. And the great thing about this is that you don't even have to, uh, the way it's licensed, you don't even have to give credit to the original uh, photographer, uh, which, is, which is nice if you just need a, an image in a hurry. And yeah, so I'll pick this guy. And I'm just going to do a little right click and download. Uh, if you wanted to, if you did this free download, I think you could get it. Oh, you can get it in different sizes. Oh, you know what? I don't need it so big. So I'm going to say download that small size. Perfect. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to come back over here, upload the file, uh, downloads. And maybe, wow, that is the worst looking crop ever, as in I can't even see it. Uh, and this is where it comes in handy that I'm a web developer because I can look and see what the problem is, uh, what the problem is with that. So this would be a good time to refill your beverage or just ignore that all of this is going on. Um, Ooh, there we go. And for some reason, that's got a. Hmm, it's, that's really, it's really odd. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and say next step, and let's see if it picks it up or not. If it doesn't, we'll come back and do that again. Uh, and it wouldn't be a live demo if there were things that were not things that uh, went wrong. So album creation, um, I'm going to, again, say anyone can create an album, an album, uh, yeah, all group, yeah, all group members. Uh, and again, you can opt to restrict that if you want to. Uh, the cover image, that differs from the Gravatar that we just looked at. That's going to be sort of... Um, if we go back to the book club. Oh, we can already see my coffee club there. I just haven't completed all the goods for it yet. Um, so in the case of the book club, this is the avatar. And then this wide image is the, um, the cover image. And for that one, just a note that not all themes display the cover image or the gravatar. Um, so just, just something to note. Uh, let's go grab another photo. Let's see. That looks like the kind of coffee someone could enjoy in the morning. Uh, we'll do a free download, and I'm going to go the medium size this time and save it. Oh, and one thing I didn't show you, I, I have a, uh, I'm digressing a little bit, but I have this app. I'm on a Mac, and I have this app called Image Optum. Uh, it's completely free, and what it does is go in and compress photos. Um, saved me 4.4%, which if I wasn't being lazy right now, I'd take that into Photoshop and crop it down for even a smaller file size, but... This will do for demo purposes. 
and I can see a little upload progress. Oh, for better results, make sure to upload an image that is larger than 1400 pixels. Well, let me just tell you, that would have been helpful to know ahead of time, but you know, whatever. They didn't let me know ahead of time. Okay, so in that case, I might as well just open up Photoshop real quick. Uh, by the way, you could also do this in, um, oh, like whatever your base, preview if you're on a Mac or paint if you're on a PC, uh, just basic software editing tool to uh, crop a file. So I'm gonna open that up. You're getting a little more than you bargains for in, uh, in this tutorial, and what did it say? It said, it said 1400 pixels, so we'll say 1400. And it also had a 350 pixels tall. All right, so let's go 350. And you don't have to crop it exact. You can crop it once you get it in there. But I mean, while I'm going to all this trouble, I might as well, oops, I might as well uh, just get it on in there. Oops. Don't laugh at my Photoshop skills. I am not a designer. Okay, that's good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and save it. I'll name it or just let it overwrite that original photo. And if I come back over uh, just for giggles, um, and by cropping it, I saved actually a lot of space there. Um, so yeah, it's worth taking it into, uh, into an image editing software. So let me reselect this file. For better results. Well, that is exactly what I just did. All right, we'll proceed to the next step. And this is a part where I could go ahead and invite uh, people that are already uh, members. I'm not going to do that right now. Like uh, anyone that wants to do that can uh, do that of their own accord. Um, so that's that's really it. Like at this point, uh, the group is created. My computer's thinking about it. And we can see our cover image there in a second here. We'll, we'll try to fix that gravatar. Um, here's just sort of, it's almost like a Facebook wall where anybody that's in the group uh, could just post to sort of this main wall. Um, there's the forum, which I said I wanted a forum, um, but there's no topics in here yet. Um, I am the only member Here's a spot to send invites. Uh, there is that the albums, the media albums that we talked about earlier, which in this case, I don't know, that's probably a little bit, unless we're all gonna upload pictures of our coffee, that's probably kind of a useless feature in this scenario. Um, but if you were say in a mastermind group and wanted to use that media uh, to upload, say like a, a PDF or, sample of a contract that you used or a proposal that you're working on that you want feedback from your group on, um, that, that would be a good place or a good thing to use media for. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click this manage button. If you hear that beep, that's my dryer alerting me that my clothes want to be folded. I will not fold them at this moment. Uh, let's go back to the photo. Oh, I think I grabbed the wrong one. We're going to find out. Oh, yeah, I'd uploaded the wrong, the wrong photo. Let's, let's try that again. Delete it. Select your file. And that was, I think it was this guy. Huh, and I'm getting that funny little thing again, maybe because it's a small picture, I don't know. But hey, it uploaded it nonetheless, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, okay, and that's really, that is all there is to it. Uh, so if you are interested in creating a group here on the MyOfficeHours.fm site, it is completely up to you, whether or not you want to make it public or private. Um, 
yeah, it is. This is, if you're a member of the site, uh, the groups are yours to use in any way that you uh, would find beneficial uh, for growing your business and supporting you uh, as a business owner. Uh, if you're not a part of this site, but you're just working on another buddy press site, um, you could still use the same, uh, the same rules would apply for how you go about creating groups. Just keep in mind that your <clears throat> the look will be different based on uh, the theme that you're using. And some of these options when you're setting up, you may or may not see based on the permissions that the site administrator has given. Uh, so that's it from there. I'll just say go forth and have fun creating groups.